Hey guys, this is iTrollerites with Rollout Reviews bringing you another Big Hero 6 toy review. This time it is the Big Bad himself. Yokai. Now this is the Disney Store exclusive version of this figure, meaning it has a slightly, and in this case I mean very, very slightly, more premium paint job. It also has a different packaging than you'll see on the standard retail release. If you want to know what that packaging looks like, it's exactly the same on all of these figures, and I show it off in my Hero Hamada review. Anyway, let's see how this figure holds up. The premium paint job on this guy is literally only on his mask. His mask is slightly more shiny than the normal version, so uh, if you can't get to a Disney store, then you're not missing out on a whole lot. Um, I mean, it looks good, but uh, it's just sort of slightly more shiny, and that's it. The rest of the figure is exactly the same. I have to say, Yokai has a fantastic design. It's so simple, but it, it does all it needs to do. Uh, he has plenty of articulation, sure, but it's not like he needs it. All he's got to do is just stand there and look menacing. And he does that uh, great. Like, that is, that's all I need him to do. Uh, but... You know, the coat here is made out of the same rubbery material as, as Wasabi's coat, um, which means I, I'm sure it's also removable, um, but uh, I don't know, he never, never takes it off, so <laughs> why bother with that? Um, articulation, you know, he's got the universal joints there. Nothing's hindered by the coat either. Um, elbows, no wrists, but he doesn't really need them. Uh, head is on a swivel. Uh, it feels like it's attached on a ball joint, but can't really move outside of just a swivel. The legs, they go forward and back, bend at the knee. Does he have a rotation? Yes, he does. He has a rotation up there, which is surprising and very, very cool. Now, his accessory here is like a little microbot hand. You know, it has like three fingers and a thumb, and this will clip onto his uh, left hand here, there's a slot there for his thumb, and it can just fit into his hand. Now this is great, it looks cool, having him on the shelf like this, that's fantastic. But since Yokai's the only villain in the movie, I really wish they released like maybe a deluxe version of him with just tons and tons of microbot effects, like another hand, maybe give him like a pedestal or something that can go around his legs that has the microbots all all on the ground there moving cuz like that's the whole deal with him. That's the whole threat with him as a villain. He just swarms the heroes in, in microbots, and it's really a super cool effect. He's really a cool villain, but it's not really, you know, displayed here very well. Don't get me wrong, he looks good, he's a great figure, and him, like I said, being the only villain is definitely worth getting, uh, but, you know, this is just slightly underwhelming. Anyway, that is about it, guys, and this is IX Roll at IX, signing off. Now, this being my last regular Big Hero 6 toy review, I will say that at the time of this recording, I have seen an advanced showing of this movie, and it is fantastic. It does not disappoint. A couple things, though, concerning the toys. First of all, Wasabi does not wear that coat throughout the entire movie. I don't know why that's there, but it is removable. I did figure out that you can bring his arms back and the coat just slides off, so that's great. It's very plain back here, but I mean, at least he can have that coat removed. Also, Honey Lemon's purse looks nothing like it does in the movie. First of all, all these are multicolored, and I understand why they didn't do that, but it has like a heart with like all these buttons on it here, and no bear at all. Like it has this little bear on it, and uh, I don't know why. I'm assuming that some of these designs were based off of early concept art and uh, those features were not translated over on the final product. But, yeah, the movie is great. That's all you need to know. Yokai is a fantastic villain and surprisingly well done. And this technically being a Marvel movie... 
definitely wait until after the credits. It's worth it.